We have one more optimization method to talk about, and it's the second derivative test for absolute max and min. Let me show you how it works. Suppose you have a function, y equals f of x, and that function you know has a second derivative which is always positive for every, uh, everywhere on its domain. Well, if it has a critical point, then that critical point will be an absolute minimum. It's pretty much guaranteed. So that tells us how the se uh, second derivative test basically works. You start with a continuous function on some interval i, that's its domain, and suppose f prime of c is zero, that's its one critical point. If the second derivative is always positive on that domain, then f will have an absolute minimum. So think, second derivative is positive, it'll be shaped like this. There will be a minimum at x, uh, at x equals c. And if the second derivative is always negative on the interval, it'll have an absolute maximum at x equals c. That's the second derivative test. Remember, the second derivative has to be always positive or always negative.